Have you ever wanted to make laser cut liquid filled keychains? We did and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week, every Tuesday and Friday. This week, we're dipping our toes into some liquid filled laser cut acrylic keychains. That's right, we're continuing our acrylic series. We did a, an acrylic video last week. We're gonna continue this week with some acrylic. And what, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you're thinking acrylic? It's keychains, at least it is for me. So we're gonna do some keychains. I think that's like a number one thing to do with acrylic. Well, and I think it's, a, it's an easy one. It's a small and they're great sellers. Yes, but we're gonna take it up a notch. It's just, it's not gonna just be acrylic keychain. We're gonna do liquid filled acrylic keychains. Of course we have to take it to the next level <laughs> <laughs> and make these things super cool. But we figured out all the tips and tricks, and so we're gonna show you how to do it first try. Yeah, we did all the testing so that we can show you the easiest way to make these things. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. This is a long list of supplies because Kim put together a smorgasbord of things that can go inside these things. <laughs> but don't worry, the full list is in the description below. We're gonna give you a kind of quick rundown right now. We needed some acrylic because we're making acrylic keychains. We're gonna fill ours, so we're gonna need something to fill them. We're gonna use glycerin and baby oil. We're gonna need some glue. We're gonna use testers acrylic cement. This will bond everything together. And to seal it after we've filled it, we're gonna use some UV resin. And then, of course, we can't forget all of the goodies. So this is what I was saying is in the description. We've got some glitter. We're gonna use some black diamond pigment powders. We have glow in the dark glitter. We're we gonna glow use the dark powders. Little clay pieces here. These uh, are tiny, tiny clay pieces used for nail art. We're gonna add oh, these oh, inside. They are. Yes. We're gonna add those on the inside. I mean, and there's a ton of them. There's so many. There's. There's just a ton of things. I don't know how it's all gonna fit in these keychains. And then of course we need some key rings and some you know, tassels. some accent pieces, yeah. Yeah, and then of course like the strap and stuff for yeah. the keychain. Step two, we're gonna make our design. We're gonna do all of our design work today inside Xtool Creative Space. Xtool Creative Space is Xtool's free design software. They're always making updates. Garrett's gonna show you a quick little like shortcut update that they made oh, recently yeah. around how to move things around and... Zoom in and zoom out. Yeah, quickly. So let's head on over to Creative Space. Here we are in Xtool Creative Space. And we're gonna get started by importing one of these PNGs. We'll do the cat. So we just pulled some silhouette images off of the internet. This was a cat head. We're just gonna... <laughs> trace the image. I'm not going to do anything. It looks great. I'm not going to adjust any of these little settings. I'm nope. just going to hit save. Not for that one. Boom, I got my little cat head. I don't need this anymore. Delete. So here's our little cat head. Let's bring him down a little bit. He's a bit big. For a keychain. Yeah, yeah, for a keychain. Okay. So this will be our front or our back because it's a solid piece. We're going to control C, control V. And that will be our other front or a back. Yeah, we'll top and bottom, I guess, we'll right? top and bottom. We're going to make this liquid filled. So now we need a cavity in there. So we're going to make two more pieces, but we're going to make them a frame or like a little cavity piece. So control C, control V, make another copy. Let's bring it up here. Now we're going to go over to outline. We don't want add inner outline for bitmap. That is such an awkward phrase. We're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna go negative on this frame. We want the frame to be on the inside. So right. we're gonna so we're, go. We're creating a frame, but you, like he said, we want it in the inside. So we're gonna put it into negative point two. Two, that's right. That's a good size frame. It's in between quarter inch and eighth of an inch. And show me they're still the same. So this one is still 3.5. All right. And here's our little candy. Now we're just gonna select both and I'm gonna subtract overlap. So now it's all one piece. 
So the inside frame, you subtracted that from the outside frame. Yep. So now the the whole inside of that cat head is empty. It's that's technically what that did. gone, yes, it's technically okay. empty. So if I were able to fill this, it would just be this frame piece that would get filled. Okay. All right, now let's give a little place for us to add it to our keychain. We're gonna insert a circle. I'm gonna hold shift. Ooh, that's a big circle. Let's take it down to a half inch. Now we're gonna grab this again. Now we're gonna add outline. But again, we're gonna bring it inside. That's a, that's a tiny circle. Right, and so I was wondering, Could do we need to put it on the outside? Because it's gonna be so small. Well, I'm just gonna Control C, Control V. Put uh -huh. it over top, and we'll just make this one quarter inch. It'll snap in the center. There you uh, go. Okay. I guess that's one way to do it. That's one way to do it. I'm going to add a trapezoid, so I give this thing a little meat to grab onto. Oh, hey. Did you know that if you held down control and you're using a mouse and then used your scroll button in your mouse, you'll be able to zoom in and out? Or if you hold your um, little space bar, it'll give you a tiny hand, and then you can push on your scroll button to move your canvas around. Oh, that's yeah. quick. Little tip. All right, so let's shrink this down a little bit. I just want to be able to stick this in here so this little tab will have a little more meat to grab onto our, our subject. Should it have the wide end at the top? Should it? <laughs> Should it? Should it? All right, let's merge the out circle, the outer circle and my little trapezoid. Let's combine, unite. Now I'm going to subtract my circle from the middle. Again, Oops. right now they were just laying on top of each yeah, other. Yeah, they're just two objects that just happen to be one inside the other. So I'm going to subtract overlap. There you go. Now okay. it's all one piece. We'll put it down here in the cat head. Yeah. Put it down here in the cat head. Hey, look, it's a... He's, it's a cat with a hat. That was a tiny hat. I'm going to use this one later, so copy paste. I'll set that guy aside. We'll grab them both. We're going to combine, unite. Ding! Excellent. Now let's make a copy because we want a lot of liquid in this thing. So <laughs> We're going to make a copy. Now I still need to fill this thing with liquid, so we need to give it a hole. Insert rectangle. It's going to tiny rectangle with like less than an eighth of an inch. What do you think? Yes. So like 0.1. Yes. A little needle will fit in there. That'll fit in there. All right. Right. This is just a break in the frame so that we can add the liquid. We're going to have to, after we add the li liquid, we're going to have to fill this hole so it doesn't leak. Well, here, let me make another one of these guys. Copy paste. And what do we say? The, uh, the frame was 0.2. So let's go ahead and make that 0.2 high. Oops. Now it should be able to fit right back in there. Plug up the hole when we're done. Oh, okay. All right, there we go. There's the four pieces we need. We have a front piece, which is solid, a middle frame, a middle frame, a middle frame with a little hole in it so we can fill it, and then the back or the other solid front piece. Can I ask a question? Shoot. Why do we need that second um, fill hole at the bottom? Why wouldn't you just put that plug piece right there so that it makes all of those cuts? Would it be overlapping? I mean, would it leave too yeah, much of a gap maybe? I mean, I guess we can find this little piece and put it back in because it should cut perfect, this little piece in here. It will cut out and we'll have a little overlap right there and a little overlap right there. But yeah, I mean, I guess I don't need this plug piece. I mean, I, that was it's more of a security thing, I guess. And um, I might want to use the inside cat. Can you not take a notch out of it? 
Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that thing now, now that you mention it. Okay. <laughs> I don't need this little plug. We'll just use the plug that's be left over. Okay, now we're done. Step three, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna bring the acrylic over to our Xtool P2 55 watt desktop CO2 laser and make all of our cuts. We're gonna leave the film on the acrylic while we're cutting it out and we won't remove it until we're ready to glue it together. Step four, time to assemble them. We're just gonna use some of this Tester's plastic cement and we're gonna glue everything together. We have a backer, then we have a frame with a little notch taken out, then we have another little frame and then the front piece. We're just gonna sandwich them all together. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is the backer, we're gonna glue the two frame pieces to the backer yep. and then we'll fill them with the little trinkets and things. With the trinkets, and then we'll put the top on. So, right. one step at a time. Let's glue the bottom three layers, right? Yes. And we have uh, removed the protective coating on the acrylic, so we're ready to glue. So we do have two different bottles. I they, They're the same thing. They come with this uh, fine pointy tip. One of them comes with a fine pointy tip. One of them comes with a brush. You can find these over by the model section, you know, where you're putting together little model yeah. cars and, um, is that what you call them? I think so. It's like, yeah, the little model cars, airplanes, it's yeah. all in the model section. That's how you bond it together. I almost missed it. And once this is glued, this isn't glue, these are going to become like one piece. It melts the plastic and welds it back together. Now we tried the star bond and that was a little bit of a disaster. That was a fiasco. My fingers are so stuck they hurt. They hurt? We glued our fingers. You know what sticks really well with Starbon? Your skin to the acrylic. It's That's... so fast. It sticks so good and so fast. Don't even mess with that Starbon and this acrylic. Yes, don't. We tried it, it doesn't work, it makes a mess, and you'll glue your fingers together instantly. And, and that's it doesn't minutes of really, your life you're not getting back. And it's not doing a good job at gluing the acrylic. So this is what we found is the best stuff, this testers. Now we're gonna add all the little tiny little tchotchke pieces. These little pumpkins, skulls, ghosts. Got a bunch of stuff. These are so fun. These are, like I said, these are nail art pieces. They're made of clay and it's just tiny little clay pieces. You can get them for every season. Like these are strawberries and this is moons and stars. I hope I make a lot of keychains because I got all. <laughs> She got uh, I all couldn't the help stuff. it. I couldn't help Everything. it. Everything. <laughs> if, if it said glow in the dark, she got that too. Oh yes, yeah. Well, that's the whole reason why I got that pack because it came with a glow in the dark bottle of things. So, so we're gonna fill it with all the dry stuff right now. No liquid, just dry. So we have the backer, the frame piece, and the other frame piece all assembled. We're gonna sprinkle in our dry stuff right now, and then put the. Uh, and then we're going to glue our top on. on. Yeah. That's right. That's because this glue takes two hours to dry. So you'll want to go ahead and completely assemble this so that all layers can dry for that two hours. And then you'll come back and add the liquid. And then we're going to use a little resin to quick cure it. Yeah.
right, all the dry stuff is in there. It's looking very sparkly. Now we're gonna put the tops on everything and give it two hours to totally cure, cure. and become one. Now I will tell you, I did check this after half an hour to see if I could like shorten the process. No, and then I checked at an hour and no, it wasn't set yet. And then I checked at an hour and a half and it wasn't set yet. And then I checked at two hours and it was set. So I think you really do have to wait the full two hours. No uh, shortcut in it, I huh? tried, <laughs> I tried. got them. Now it's time to uh, fill up our little keychains with uh, all the little holes. We're going to use this syringe and we're going to mainly be using some of this baby oil. We'll feel nice and silky smooth for a few days. <laughs> and then we're going to put some uh, of these, what are these things? Prisma, uh, well, um, it's like these mica powder stuff. Yeah, mica powders. Yes, yeah. thank you. We got some glow in the dark ones. Pigment powders is yeah, what it says. Yeah, pigment powders. You can put them in resin, or well, we're gonna put them in some of this baby oil. And then for my knife, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this food coloring, and then some of this uh, clear baby oil. We're using baby oil. That way it won't get all cloudy and gunky looking later on. Right, so, you know, this is really our first time doing this as well and we found that doing some research that water will get cloudy over time so if you do use water some people do use distilled water baby oil will not get cloudy over time and it's a little thicker so your stuff will move a little bit slower in yeah, there it's kind of like a snow globe yes like, like a snow globe on your hip <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna suck this up with the syringe. I'm gonna plunge it into this thing. Then those little caps that we kept from before, those little tiny acrylic pieces, we're gonna put back in the hole with some UV resin, hit it for one minute with the light, and we should be good to go. Here, let me wipe the tip off so you don't get oil. Here's another tip. Don't get oil in your little... Your hole. In your hole. You don't want oil in your fill hole. In your fill hole. You want to just drop it in a little bit of this UV resin. Yeah, we're going to put a little UV resin right in here. Right in this cup. Right we'll drop this in. And then you'll use your tweezers, once it's coated, to put it back in its little fill hole. Alright, go ahead, shine on me, babe. I feel like that was a pretty good job getting it in that little tiny hole. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Better get me too. It's not as dark as I'd like it. But yeah. I think you get to see the little things that are in there. Okay. I like it. I like it. Pretty cool. All right.
So he put a little water in the baby oil. All right, I think you need a little bit more blood. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need more blood. Gonna need more blood than that. I lost the plug for the knife. I can't find it. We did find a plug, but it's too big. It's not fitting in. So we're just gonna go in with some resin. This will be a good test because we filled all the others with the plug. In case you wanted to know, can you just fill it with resin? Yeah. We're gonna find out. 57 Mississippi, 58 Mississippi, 59 Mississippi, 60 Mississippi. So what happens when my Watch dies. Step six, and now we add the accents. We have some tassels that we're gonna put on these jams, and some uh, bracelets. Bangles. Bangles. They're, they're silicone, and they already have like a little hook on them. Yeah, a little gold hook. And I was saving these. You know, not everyone wants like a plain old bangle. It's too boring. Right. So I got. These. Oh, wow, that's <laughs> a lot of stuff going on on each one of these things. This one's got, it totally belongs with the cat, right? These came like this? They came like this. So I got these on Amazon. I think they were $10 each, but when you add this, I think you can sell them for a lot more. Yeah, I'm saying if you add that, yeah, definitely sell it for a lot more. You can, it comes with a hand sanitizer, um, a little thing for like, Pepper spray. Oh, mine comes with a bottle opener. Uh, yeah. Pepper spray. Or, or something right here, right? Oh. I could put something. Yeah, mine's in there. got some kind of alarm. Uh huh. Should I pull the plug? Yeah. Oh. Ready? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> uh, a bottle opener. This is also a silicone bracelet. It's stretchy. A little puff ball. Uh, um, a tassel. And yeah, mine has a tassel on it. In the emergency, I have the emergency noise. Oh, yeah. There you go. And so let's, and then all you have to do is hook. And it's got a combination. I think this one totally goes with like yep. this. The cauldron. The cauldron. Let's use these for the cat and the cauldron. Yeah, the cat and the cauldron. And I then, think this one totally goes with that. Yeah. If you got a tassel that matches or something. No. No. Maybe just a black tassel. Yes. Black tassel, like a. Uh, or maybe, uh, maybe this black tassel. Yeah. Well, like a hearse. Like a hearse. All right. Well, let's put the. These are a little bit. They got a little bit of baby oil on them. <laughs> Do I use this one that's open? Do I think have an open the. It looks like they're all hooked to the tassel. You could probably do some personalization, drop people's names and stuff in there. Ooh, I bet you you could do like people's faces, put them on a shrinky dink, put people's faces in these things. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we did see that and we just didn't have time to create our own accents from shrinky dinks. Just needs more stuff. Now that I've seen this, I mean, what is this? <laughs> it's... <laughs> this is really a statement. You really want them to see a coffin. Yeah, I love coffins. I think this thing needs to be tasseled up. Step seven. Profit. So these are a great little item to sell that's got a good, better, best to them. Like you can come in with just the key ring. Well, good, here. you know. This is good. You know, I think you're all in for this for about $2. You could probably sell it for about $5. So that's good. Then you have your better, which is the bangle, little tassel, and the liquid filled guy. <laughs> I think you're all in with the bangle and everything and all the little glitter inside. What did we decide? About seven dollars. Yeah, the bangles are about three dollars and twenty cents each. Comes with their key ring and everything. And then these tassels are 
what did I say, like five cents? Yeah, five cents. And then maybe a couple dollars in acrylic. Two. So you're at like seven total. I think I said two dollars for acrylic, two dollars. Oh, for the like clay accents. Oh yeah. It's not even that. I mean, I would I put like five in there and some glitter. So you're less than two dollars in your little accents inside. I say they would go for about fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen. That's a pretty good one. Then we have best. This, this has all the bells and whistles and sirens. Literally bells yeah. and whistles. That you can have. I think you're all in on this one for about $14. Uh-huh. Including the little $9 bundle of goodies here. Yes, because yes, the, the whole bundle of goodies was $10. And then we're going to add our little cat to it. And then we can up the price of that. What did we say? Just the, the, the acrylic itself and the goodies inside is maybe less than four dollars three dollars yeah, three dollars and then this is ten so you're around thirteen dollars for the whole thing and you can sell it for twenty twenty five yeah I mean now, I'd say I would even go thirty if you had a little personalization up in there or something thirty easy yeah this just has this has all the little goodies to yeah. it like I said all the little bells and whistles don't forget to hit that like button and if you're not yet subscribed subscribe and tick that bell to be notified of our new videos each week big thank you to all of our patrons we love you guys thanks for helping us out and smashing that like button helps us out too with that we are about out of time we will see you next week where we'll do it build it and make it again don't forget to join us on tuesdays for tesco tuesday oh you're spinning now Let's oh, do it at the same time. Okay, let's. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, no. You're getting Maybe. me. Why are you hitting me? Because <laughs> I have to watch you. <laughs>